Kathy Uru is the founding publisher of Catalina Magazine. We were interested to know what she thought of Mr. Rotondo. She joins us tonight. So, Kathy, he's 30 years old, but yep. he says he doesn't want to leave. Right. Should he be forced to leave? But why? I mean, a third of 18 to 35 year olds in this country live with their parents. So he's actually normal. And Michael loves his mom. He wants to be with his mom. What's so wrong with that? He loves his parents. So he's normal and he wants to be with his parents at a time when he's not ready to move on. So you would okay. think his parents would welcome him there. His mom would want to be a good mom and have her son live there. What's, well, they don't sound like grateful parents. So no, yeah, if, what's wrong if with at the parents? age of 30 you're not ready to leave your mom's basement, why are you ready to vote or drive a car or drink alcohol or serve in uniform? Well, we don't know if he does any of those things, but we do know that he's not ready to leave his mom's, and it's not his basement. He has a bedroom. He said clearly he doesn't live in the basement. So, okay. um, sorry, yeah, sorry. So, I, I didn't mean on. to impute his character. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, he, what's wrong with loving your mother? And in the future, maybe she will want to live in his bedroom, in his house, when he's more adjusted and feels better and is prepared for the world. Maybe Michael will have a nice house, maybe a mansion. Thanks to their support that they wouldn't spend that money on the lawyers, but they'll actually spend it on him and his future, on their son. No, and I think I'm, I'm following you. Look, I'm trying, as always, I'm yeah, trying to discern right. a theme here that I can apply to other parts of right. my life. So okay. if you love something, you get it for free, which I understand. So if I love, I don't know, a Rolex watch, do I get it for free? I mean, if I really love it. If I it, really love it. This is a parent and a child. If you're a parent, you're always a parent. So if she's a mom, she's always a mom. If this is a son, okay. he's always a son. So they should always love each other. They should right. hire lawyers and go against each other in court as the mother did. Well, she's I agree. I, well, I totally agree. But what wife. if I love the watch and I need to know what time it is because right. otherwise you get law. You, you need to know what time it is, okay? But, and I love that watch. It's a sincere love. Why would they call the cops on me if I just take it? it it's about responsibility. She gave birth to this child. Uh, you didn't give birth to that watch. So no, it's a true. Different, yes, so it's very different. So this mother should understand. She gave birth to this child. It's her responsibility. It's good for society for her to take care of this child, her child child, no matter how old this child is, and make sure her child is ready to face the world. So, and so there's no, you can't not. age out of this arrangement. Once you're born, you have a moral and I think legal right to sponge off your parents forever? I don't think it's sponging off. I think he loves his mother. He lo Michael loves his mommy and um, he wants to be with her until he's ready. I don't Michael's think there's anything 30. wrong Wait, with can that. I, we're, we're only got 20 seconds, but are you concerned about the profusion, the explosion of man children in our, in our society? Is that good for women? Women and men, 18 to 35, are living at home with their parents. A third yeah. of millennials are living at home with their parents. So this is what's happening right now, and we seem fine as a society. I mean, it's make America great again, right? We're great. We're a great society. This I don't think living happening. with mom when you're 30 is making America great again. It's a sad, brave new world that we should resist at all costs. But whatever, we, d we, we uh, disagree. Kathy Rue, it is great to see you as Thank always. You. Thank you. Thank you.